So earlier this week, Governor Walker signed a bill giving libraries more options to collect fines for overdue materials. According to the Wisconsin Library Association, people fail to return $3 million worth of taxpayer-owned library materials each year. Here this morning to discuss this is Plumer Lovelace, the executive director of the State Library Association. Thanks for being with us this Thank morning. Thank you for having me. $3 million is stunning. I mean, when I saw that figure, I was shocked. It, is that really the impetus behind this, is trying to recoup some of the taxpayer funds? That's correct. Uh, the legislation that was signed uh, on Monday by the governor, uh, we believe, gives libraries uh, another tool in trying to retrieve materials that um, have not be been returned by, by patrons. And, um, and I have to say that I was in the same position. When libraries first uh, approached the Library Association uh, with this issue, I was thinking, well, gee, how much money are we talking about per library? Is right. it $300, $600? And uh, when I saw the, uh, the amounts, it was really just amazing. And the, the impact is really not just financial because, uh, as you know, when materials are not returned, then individuals who are waiting for those materials right. cannot check out those materials as well. So I was joking with you before we started. I got an email this morning from the Madison Public Library that one of my kids had something due. Um, libraries have always kind of tried to gently nudge people to return and, and you know, given some grace periods on the back side of this. but. I mean, if we're talking $3 million, obviously that's been abused. Correct. And, and as you said, uh, the library's uh, traditional policy is really to spend a lot of time uh, attempting to get materials back. So, for instance, in the case of any item that's checked out, uh, there would be um, an email sent. Uh, mm -hmm. There would be a second email sent, uh, probably up to four email messages sent, uh, then a letter. Uh, maybe a second letter, then a telephone call. So when an item moves from being um, overdue to being lost, which is the next category, right. uh, that item has probably been gone at that point for about three months. So that's three months that individuals who are waiting for those materials cannot check out those materials. So you were talking when you asked libraries, you know, is this $300, $600? I, we did a story showing that Verona Library, uh, I think, was out $17,000 in, in delinquent fines to a, a, a library in Wisconsin. How much, how, how important is that amount of money? Well, it's extremely important. Uh, we estimate uh, at the Wisconsin Library Association that this problem impacts uh, the average library's budget uh, at about 5% of their budget. So that means that a, a library that um, is uh, trying to manage their annual budget is looking at, at trying to make the decision between do I repurchase items that were not returned or do I spend my budget dollars, which I want to do, right. for adding new items to my shelves, for uh, possibly adding new technology uh, for my patrons. Um, that's just not fair to the libraries. So i got about 15 seconds to go, but now collection agencies may get involved with this. That's correct. And again, this would be uh, at uh, the uh, last resort for libraries. This, libraries are not money-making organizations. Uh, our objective is to get our stuff back so that we can continue to distribute those items to other patrons. Fair enough. Lumer Lovelace, thanks so much with the Wisconsin Libraries Association. Thanks for what you do. Personally, I love libraries. I Thank you for having me. Can't spend enough time in the libraries. We appreciate your time.